Hi Aries, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're doing great today. So what we have here is a yawn. We have the hand of fate or destiny. We have a double yawn crossing over each other, which are faded events, faded things that can happen, um, positive, negative, whatever, it's up to you. We have Mercury here aligned with Venus, which is great, up to the North Node in Gemini. Very intense conversations with people, possibly reconciliations, healing relationships for the sake of reputation. So someone may try to reach out to heal a relationship with you, possibly for the holidays or just for their own reputation. They want to make something appear as though everything is going well and fine, which is kind of unique. Um, now we have Leo energy over to the North Node. Very brave, um, straight up to Venus and Capricorn. Venus rules over Taurus and Libra. It has to do with beauty, love, and things that we cherish. Tangible things, money, um, luxury items, having a home, and also having peace and balance in your life, which is Libra energy. Very beautiful nice energy. So it's almost like Mercury direct in Libra is peace, the peacemaker. There could be some kind of peaceful communication. But if you think about it, it's mostly for outward reputation. Capricorn is about fame and fortune and reputation, what you've earned as a result of what you've done. So if you've worked really hard and you have a great reputation, this is something about trying to improve or enhance your rep reputation through communication and being peaceful. Now we have Mars, the moon, and the sun all lined up in Scorpio with Mercury on its way over to Scorpio. So it's about to get real. <laughs> Scorpio is deep watery energy. It's highly emotional, secretive. People who've repressed emotions could be coming up to the surface to express how they feel. I like how Venus and Capricorn, though, people won't act crazy because they'll be more concerned about how that makes them look. So that's a good thing. They don't, they don't want to ruin their career or reputation. So they're very concerned about salvaging things. Now, so Mercury is at 29 degrees of Libra. It's literally a few days away or one day away from going into Scorpio. And then we're going to have a full lineup in Scorpio with Mars, the moon, the sun, and then we'll have Mercury as well, all in the eighth house energy, which is transformation, endings and beginnings, the life cycle, other people's money. It also has to do with money and finance. So we have all these T-squares, and then we have these two yods with Venus and Capricorn, the north node. Mars and Scorpio, Venus and Capricorn again. So it has to do with communication, talking to people, saying things in order to repair or, I don't believe it's destructive. Mars is very intense Scorpio energy, um, highly emotional, very intense. Intense feelings connected to the words too with Mercury. So people will have very intense words to say perhaps um hopefully it's for reconciliation very concerned about how it makes them appear to other people mercury at a sextile to venus in capricorn i just feel like even if someone's reputation is suffering it could be affecting their money with venus like people don't want to buy from them or something like that but we do have Pluto and Capricorn, which is a major breakdown and a major transformation. So we have a definite shift or a change happening. Now for Aries, we have Chiron healing the wounded soul, sextile to Saturn, retrograde in Aquarius, looking back on the past relationships in large groups, your network, friends, family, um, school, jobs, anywhere where there's a large network of people. And Saturn in retrograde here would be the lessons you learned in the past, possibly coming back around again. I'm sorry, Saturn is now direct at seven degrees, but Saturn is still the discipline, the energy of discipline and order on the collective connected to 
Aries wanting to heal the wounded soul, the wounded self. Um, there could also be something about talking to specialists about health matters because Chiron can also be health related matters connected very positively to Aquarius. Ask for lots of different opinions or seek, you know, many different um, uh, expert opinions on things because. Gemini in, in uh, the north node of the moon in Gemini is very emotional, extremely intense between people who are close to you, friends, family, neighbors, very intense. And this is the yod. So the yod is the hand of fate or destiny rules where something would radically change. And basically with Saturn direct and Jupiter direct in Aquarius, you could do very well to... Um, ask other people for their opinion on things that have to do with you personally, anything, any kind of wounds that you went through, physical, mental, emotional, anything that affected you can, you can do very well right now because Jupiter is direct is good luck, good fortune. Um, it could also be a good time to look for a new job because Chiron wants you to heal the wound itself. And if you're in a job that you don't like, you could do very well to contact like a large network. So the moon in Scorpio, highly emotional, very intuitive. There's a purging going on as well. Your emotions could be repressed and come up from the bottom of your soul and come up, you know, through tears or any of that um, kind of a release. So it's a really intense, almost a stellium lineup here in Scorpio. Um, two double yod energies. Now, like I said, I feel like it's peaceful. I don't feel like there's anything negative going on. Mars sort of intensifies everything, and Mars is really only at a resistance to change. Um, so Mars and Scorpio is very, you know, doing a deep dive within your own soul to, you know, look at your inner self or to look at secrets, to investigate and look into something, what is really going on below the surface, and not just looking at something at face value, you know, looking below to see what's really going on, what is really happening. So double yachted energy, big hands of fate or destiny that could be occurring. Okay, so let's see what we get. I, I appreciate you guys tuning into my channel. I don't know if any Aries are going through, like, oh, I was going to say, um, you know, problems, but I got happy thoughts. <laughs> uh, to feel happier, think about a memory or something else that makes you smile. So there could be something that you're going through that just sort of wrecks your vibration. It just makes you feel unhappy um, and that could be so many things relationships um, feeling attacked the north node in Scorp or in uh, Gemini would be intense gossip between people intense very intense like it's the only thing people are doing is texting each other and obsessively talking about other people Gossip. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that. Happy thoughts. Okay, so let's see what we get for you, Aries. messages pop out for Aries today Friday the 5th of November so 
seven of wands standing your ground standing up for what you believe in this is the energy of when the planet mars is in leo so leo is ruled by the sun it's the cray it's the very courageous um brave lion heart so having the heart of a lion so something's going on could even be social media a lot of people chattering oh my goodness in the crossing we have a queen of wands you're really strong unless you're dealing with another fire sign an aries a leo sagittarius i feel like it's you you're really coming up with strong energy right now There could be somebody who's on the defense with you when you speak to them. Oh, we have the Ace of Water. A lot of happiness, new emotions, new feelings related to peace, love, or happiness. Okay, really good. Recent past energy, Three of Swords, heartbreak, pain, Painful thoughts, painful feelings, maybe a separation from someone. Okay, we have a nine of wands. You're not giving up. You're very courageous. You're refusing to be um, set back in any way. You're just continuing to keep going you're persevering okay the hanging man is coming into the future something is where you just sort of have to let go of control you may not have any control over the scenario this means you just have to look at it from a different point of view um, possibly pause Maybe try to imagine a different solution if you feel stuck. Underlying energy today, though, is that ace of water. So there's something coming in that is an offer of new feelings. Wow, your energy is a tower. So something's unexpected. What's coming in for Aries? The Five of Wands. Competition. People trying to compete with you. Competing over resources. Everybody wants to be the hero. Everybody wants to get to the Six of Wands. Coming from a Four of Wands. Four of Wands to me is stable, but it could be boring. So people are bored. They want attention. They want six of wands. They want to get, they want to level up. They want to feel like a hero. So there's some kind of competition, competitive spirit. It doesn't have to necessarily be negative, but to me, all fives are a struggle. So there's a struggle around you that perhaps you could find out about. Okay. What I'm getting here, your hope or your fear is a seven of swords, which is like the thief or the liar. Someone who's sneaky, they hide information. You get justice being served here. So justice is served. What is going on though? Ooh, bottom of the deck is a nine of pentacles, self-sufficient, independent, having a life of financial comfort. What is the tower here for Aries? What is the tower for Aries? Clarify the tower. Four of Swords. 
I don't feel like you're gonna get involved in something. If there is a situation going on around you, you're not gonna get involved in it. You're just gonna distance yourself. Why do we have a hangman in the future? Surrendering your will. Just letting something be the way it is. You could be waiting, surrendering to a situation, giving up control. What is the hangman here? Queen of Swords. There could be someone here who's kind of strict or very serious. Could be someone very who keeps people at a distance. It could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air in their chart. They could see enforcement, someone who sees enforcement, because we have justice, we have Libra energy. So someone who sees enforcement as important. Bottom of the deck is the emperor, personal power. Okay. So your energy is four of swords. You don't respond to something. Okay, so what do we have here for four of swords? Aries backing off. Okay, this is really interesting. Knight of Cups, an emotional ex offer. Someone who, with emotions. It could be an intent or uh, an apology. Oh. Okay. So let's see here. What are we getting for the Five of Wands in the environment? What is Five of Wands? Let's eat fast. Queen of the Pentacles, Earth sign energy. It's a Taurus, a Capricorn, a Virgo, or someone with Earth in their chart. So somebody here is causing sort of like a tension. Why are we getting here the Seven of Wands, the Fool? You're liberated, you're free. I feel like you just don't want anything around you that's going to weigh you down or bring you into drama. You don't want anything affecting your vibration, making you feel bad or like you're in somebody else's fight. Okay, so you have something here where someone comes toward you, I feel, unless you're apologizing for, for something. I don't really see that. Um, the Fool and the Seven of Wands. You're telling someone to not bother you. What is Ace of Cups underlying? Ace of Cups is the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And it could be a messenger. It could be good news. It could be somebody who is younger or youthful, an earth sign. Um, what do we have for the justice? What is coming up as justice energy? Everything coming into balance. What is justice here for Aries? What is justice here for Aries? <laughs> okay, it flipped. Where is it? Oh my goodness. I did see it flip. It's here somewhere. Oh, this is weird. Oh, there it is. The Emperor. Okay. So, could be a father, a father figure, a supervisor, um... It can be a promotion because it's about personal power or authority. So we have here justice and the emperor. You're put in a very strong position. Okay, so we also have on the bottom of the deck the lover's energy, which can be healing, choices, blessings, unions, coming together. It can also be representing Gemini. 
So if you have a Gemini around you, the Wheel of Fortune and the Judgment, the Four of Wands, something is changing. Um, there may have been some painful message or event right here with the Three of Swords in the recent past. So something may have recently happened where it was painful, it was hurtful, and um, it looks like there was competition. One more for Aries with the Tower here. Aries with the Tower. You're getting the truth, mental clarity, a victory, news, information. Ace of Swords is a triumph over defeat. That's why there's a crown always on the card. It's a triumph over defeat. So I feel like you're getting something really good. It probably has something to do with Scorpio and the energy of Scorpio. Near future is hangman, which means something's hanging in the balance. Something was being looked at from a different perspective. Now your energy or the main energy is seven of wands, defensiveness, and then the fool. Liberation, freedom, doing what you want to do, a new journey. Throwing your cares aside. Trusting the universe. Okay, so we're getting the strength card. Courage, strength, feminine. Oops. Feminine strength. Uh, feminine, divine feminine strength. So peaceful, the peaceful warrior, very being very peaceful. The death card is on the bottom, something that's changing. Ooh, with an ace of pentacles here. And again, with this king of swords energy, it's been coming up all week. It's like there's a big decision that's being made here. Something's being given or offered that will lead to a major change. Okay, strength card. Scorpio underlying. Scorpio is about secrets. I mean, it's about the life cycle, things that are um, hidden, not talked about, uh, kept secret or repressed. So, okay, so we have all these energies and justice and the emperor. Five of wands and a queen of pentacles. Somebody is going to be fair in your scenario this queen of pentacles is someone usually who's very fair but if there's a five of wands there could be some sort of conflict going on underlying energy is an ace of water a new potential for happiness or peace what else do we have here for aries can i get one more mm. Forgive. It's time to let go of anger or blame. But I know that's like really easier said than done, especially if somebody broke your heart or hurt you really badly. Um, yeah. So you can, you know, you can forgive the person so that you don't carry around the, the feeling anymore. So you're just forgiving them for yourself, really. And then you move on. Um, you don't have to forgive them and then like let them back in your life again to cause chaos. Um, so you get a tower. So you could be getting an unexpected apology. Because the tower, the knight of water, ace of truth, and a four of swords. To me that seems like it's someone that you weren't speaking to because they hurt you. So then we have your hanging man. It's like you're giving it some thought. Um, justice and the emperor, very good energies for this outcome. So thank you, Aries, for tuning in. Sorry for hitting the camera so many times. <laughs> I hope you have a fantastic day today and take care.